Hello everyone, this screencast is designed to walk you through the steps of completing the Unity and Diversity Summative Assessments. So once you are in the Classroom page, please go to Classwork. You're going to find an assignment called Unity and Diversity Summative. Here you have um, a document that shows the differences between how and why, which is the last rigored step of this assignment. So I'll walk you through the steps of the actual assignment itself once you open it here. Everyone has their own copy. There's a title page. It also includes what the learning goal is that you'd be able to categorize and critique issues characterize, excuse me, by unity and diversity in the history of the U.S. and other nations. So the way we broke it down is that you have two issues that have to do with unity and two issues that have to do with diversity. So for unity issue one, you are simply going to go into this box and type in whatever your unity issue is. Perhaps a unity issue might be democracy as an example, and then you're just going to define or describe that issue. When you continue, on Unity Issue 1, you then have to categorize it. And remember, Unity Issue 1 that you chose was, again, our example will be democracy. And you have to figure out what category does democracy fit into among these samples? Culture, family, rules, economy, environment, or politics. Which category would democracy fall under? And then explain why you put it in that category. So for instance, you might pick politics. This democracy is a political system where people are given power with their voice in democracy as opposed to other types of um, political institutions or political ideologies. Then you're going to continue to explain how and why the issue exists. And again, unity issue one is still democracy. You're going to talk about how democracy exists, what's the manner in which democracy happens. You could be describing how people are given a vote to uh, select their representatives and the people who make their laws, and then why democracy happens. Democracy happens because for a long time there had not been um, power to the people um, through giving them their voice. There have been other forms of government where one person had rule or authority, where we had kings and monarchs and emperors and things of that nature, and then the people rose up against that sort of form of government, and that's why democracy happened. So that's just a quick overview of one of the issues. Remember, as you continue on, Unity Issue 2, again, you're going to go into the box and pick a different issue. Instead of democracy, you pick something else. Justice, freedom, equality. One of those issues that we know unifies people within the country. So, And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to then define it, then categorize it in the next box, and then explain how and why it exists in the next box. As you continue through the slideshow, the next thing is diversity issue one. Remember, our issues of diversity included things like religion, language, ethnicity, race, age, um, economic status. Those sorts of things are issues of diversity. So you're going to pick one. You're going to define it. Do the same thing. Next slide with your issue of diversity. You're going to put it into a category and explain why. The next slide, you're going to explain how and why that issue of diversity exists. And then lastly, you have three more slides where you're picking your second diversity issue and doing the same thing. Naming what it is, describing what it is, categorizing it, and then explaining how and why it exists. That's it for now. I hope that helped to explain everything that you need to do. Remember, you have two issues of unity and two issues of diversity to um, work on to complete this summative assessment. Please email me if you have any questions and good luck.